Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 579, Rapid Review. What is the most common cause of infection secondary to blood transfusion? The most common cause of infection after a blood transfusion is due to hepatitis C. Name the common infections that occurs in patients with chronic granulomatous disease. Infections that commonly occur in patients with chronic granulomatous disease include Staph aureus, E. coli infection, and Aspergillus, and these are catalase positive bacteria. Name some different types of kidney stones. Different types of kidney stones include calcium stones, struvite stones which contains ammonium, and uric acid stones. Describe the appearance of calcium kidney stones under x-ray. The appearance of calcium kidney stones under x-ray is radiopaque. And that means that the kidney stone itself will appear darker than the surrounding. Describe the appearance of struvite kidney stone. The appearance of struvite kidney stone is that it would appear radiopaque under x-ray and this is formed because of urease positive organisms such as Proteus vulgaris or Staphylococcus. Describe the appearance of uric acid kidney stones under x-ray. The appearance of uric acid kidney stones under x-ray is that it will appear radiolucent and that means that the surrounding will appear darker than the kidney stone itself. So the kidney stone itself would appear transparent and that's what radiolucent means. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.